spring is coming and you know what that means bees are out I'm Cheyenne I'm going to teach you a protocol for spring osbia nest observations your participation helps track global climate change nectar flow bee populations and it's just plain fun So let's begin. What you're going to need first is a clear plastic water bottle, one without curves. And then with your scissors, you're going to cut around where the widest portion of the bottle starts until the top comes completely off. Next, you're going to get a piece of styrofoam and a marker. And you're going to trace around the edges of the bottle, which I've already done. Then you're going to use a box cutter or a pair of scissors. And you're going to cut around the line that you created. We've already done that too. And this is what it should look like. A nice round piece of styrofoam. You're going to want to see if this piece fits. And it fits inside the bottle easily. So you're going to take that out for the next part, which is to create holes for our bee tubes. Bee tubes are cardboard cylinders. And what you're going to do is put them in. But first, before you do that, you have to make holes. So with a box cutter or a pair of scissors, you twist in the middle until it goes all the way through and create a hole. You're going to want to do this so you have at least 10 holes. Now, you're going to want to see if this fits, which it does. So before you keep it in there permanently, you have to put a paper insert in. Now, the paper inserts don't go in too well. So you're going to want to use scissors or a pen to widen the hole of the bee tube. Then you can put your paper insert in. And at the end of it, you want to twist it so it's twisted closed. Then you put it in and leave a little bit hanging out. Now, you put the bee tube inside the styrofoam and put the styrofoam inside the bottle. Now you want it to be an inch or a half an inch down and you want the bee tube to touch the bottom of the bottle. So next you have to secure the styrofoam which you're going to use the pins. So on each side of the styrofoam bottle you're going to put a pin in. Now make sure the pins don't go in where your bee tube is because that's obviously not going to work. So you add one on each side. And now to avoid sunlight from going inside the bottle, we have to wrap it in duct tape. After you wrap the bottle with tape, and add the extra bee tubes. Your trap is going to look something like this. Now when you have multiple bee tubes, you're going to want to number each one at the top and also on the styrofoam so that when you take a picture, it's easy to know which tube has what in it. 